a quick look at Crying Shame. No, uh, just got a request to cover the song. Uh, it's basically just a three chords which just goes throughout the whole song. We do have a couple of uh, licks and riffs in between. And all. So, uh, skipping all those small, small things, I will maybe show you guys the chord progression if you want to play along with the song or maybe like sing along. So, we have three chords. Uh, we have E major, open, second, second, first, open, open. Then I have a B major chord for that chord shape. I bar the 7th fret. And then I have an E major shape up over here. So it's 7, 9, 9, 8, 7, 7. I'll bring it 1, 2 frets down. It's now an A major, so we got 5, 7, 7, 6, 5, 5. The strumming pattern which I'm using is... It's down up down up down up down up. So down up 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 Now I'm playing E major chord twice and I'm playing B and A one. So the chord progression is E, E, B, A. We do have a solo in the song and the chord progression changes out there. I'll show you guys the chord progression over there if you want to play. It's D, A, C sharp minor. Then we have a D, A, and G sharp. Now over here, I play the D major chord like this. Mute, mute, open, second, third, second. I play the A major like this. Mute, open, second, 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 open. C sharp minor chord like this. Bar the fourth fret, fifth fret on B, string six fret on G and D. And for the G sharp chord, I bar the entire fourth fret. I have fifth fret on G, sixth fret on E and D. So we got C sharp minor and C sharp minor. B, A. That's the whole song guys, I hope the video helps you all. For more easy and accurate lessons like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.